How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dip Discovery and today I'm doing an unboxing and review of the high grade original Lux mattress. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is the high grade original Lux mattress that they sent over to me to review very kindly. So we're going to be doing an unboxing of this, um, well unwrapping, and getting it onto my bed here and um, see what I think of it over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, to give you an idea of what, what you're going to be getting yourself in for. So this is Hygris, it's a new company um, that's just launched in the UK. Um, and basically it is kind of a, similar to the mattress in the box kind of that you, that you can get. Where it comes delivered to you, uh, wrapped up like this. So it's in this kind of a, a jacket here. And you have to um, then uh, pull the mattress out which is all wrapped up. And then put it onto your bed. Then you've got to leave it for a few hours for the bed to get its correct shape. And then once it's done that, um, then you're ready to sleep on it. So um, the best thing to do would be to unwrap it in the morning and then let the mattress settle, you know, over the course of the day. Um, and then it'll become its full shape uh, by the time you need to sleep on it. So uh, yeah, this is the actual uh, jacket here. You've got the high grade, but by science experience, the biggest innovation in sleep technology and pretty straightforward instructions. Unwrap, unroll, let it fluff up. Now, the, it did come delivered to me in a van with a, with a nice chap. Um, so they're quite quick on the delivery. Um, but what I would recommend is if you are um, gonna be in by yourself or you, or you don't have someone to hand to help you, definitely ask the delivery driver to help you get this mattress in the room that you need to be in because it is actually a really really heavy mattress and it's quite difficult to kind of um uh pull it upstairs and uh you know so uh, i struggled quite a bit so my friend came over and he helped me take it up because it is extremely heavy and um, so bear that in mind guys and the bag itself doesn't actually have any handles that you can grab onto to kind of help you leverage the uh the mattress up the stairs um, so that's just something to bear in mind. Um, so hi, good if you're listening, might be a good idea to put some handles on the jacket to help you carry it. Anyway, so uh, we've got the uh, these zips here. So when you unzip these, obviously you've got the uh, mattress inside. Like I said, it's in that kind of wrap. So I'm going to pull it out. We're going to put it onto the bed and unwrap it and then see where we get up to. All right, guys, so we've just got it out the sleeve. Um, so here it is. Like I said, it's all wrapped up in this kind of like cellophane-y kind of material. Now, obviously, all you've got to do is get yourself a, you know, box cutter um, and, um, you know, be really careful when you're cutting this wrap off because you don't want to nick the actual fabric material that the mattress is made out of, obviously. So just be really careful with that. And it's probably going to, once it is cut, it's probably going to, unwrap really quick so just bear in mind that you know try not to uh, hurt yourself all right guys so i just got the mattress unrolled and i put it onto the bed frame now as you saw in that quick time lapse it, when it actually unwrapped it was actually upside down so I had to flip it over to get the right way up, but this is how it kind of looks. Got a nice little high grid uh, label there. Now, it does say you have to leave it on uh, your bed for a good few hours to wait for it to um, you know, spring back into its natural shape um, because obviously it's got loads of layers inside the build of the mattress that needs to expand and obviously it's been compressed in that kind of wrapper um, while it was in transit. So as you can see right at the moment, it looks a bit saggy, um, but uh, you know, uh, this is the morning now. So um, in the evening, I'll come back, see what the shape is like when it's in, in its full form. And obviously then we, uh, I'll give you an update uh, and then I'll be just uh, having a sleep on it and see what it's like. All right guys, so it's been just over eight hours now and the mattress has pretty much gained all of its shape. Um, now, one thing I wanna do ma mention is uh, when you do get a mattress kind of wrapped up like this, um, one thing you kind of uh, will get is a bit of a chemical-y smell, um, which is quite common in these memory foam mattresses when they are wrapped up. So that's something to bear in mind. 
I opened my windows while the thing was airing out just to get a bit of fresh air in and to be honest it's not that strong and over time that smell will go anyway so um, you know you will get over it uh, but just something to mention um, so here it is um, I'm just going to give you a quick look at the edges here as you can see they're all kind of kept their uh, shape now so I'll kind of bounce back it does look really comfy the uh, the top uh, cover that it's got on it quite nice it does still have a bit of a kind of bagginess there but it just needs a little bit more stretching out and um you know once it's uh, done and then it'll flatten out completely so obviously it'll get better over time so it looks really good so i'm just going to give you some brief overview of the hybrid mattress itself so it's uk's first and only japanese patented smart grid technology mattress it's got a soft a plush feel at the top and but it is still quite firm as well so it doesn't sag down too much as well it's intelligently adapts to every body type so if you are a big lad or uh, you're sharing it with two people or you're quite uh, thin slim whatever any body type is going to be feeling at home on this mattress it's got 2500 air channels in that smart grid layer and it doesn't let you get that sweaty night feeling you know when you wake up and you're all hot and bothered like you do get with some other memory foam mattresses on the market it's also very durable as well they're quite uh, adamant you're going to be happy with it so they give you a 10 year warranty with this thing and if any defects happen in that time you know you can uh, return it and get an exchange it also comes with a 200 day trial period if you're not too sure if you want to go for it or not and you can return it absolutely for free if you're not happy with it so that's something to bear in mind now let's have a look at the actual construction of the mattress itself now the good thing about the hybrid mattress is it does come with this nice removable mattress cover sheet as well and the good thing about it is if it does get dirty you can remove it from the whole mattress and actually put it in the washing machine and clean it um, but if you use a mattress protector you probably won't have to do that often so it comes with nice zips there and that opens up the actual um, layers of the mattress so let's see what we've got here so obviously the first layer is the hybrid b free original cover that you get with it it's really nice soft material as well quite spongy very very comfortable and nice to hold soft touch you then you have the hyper soft foam layer um, that's on there and then uh, after that which i'm guessing is this section here that is your uh, Japanese patented smart grid layer in there and then after that this big chunky one here that's your Luxio Tech comfort layer that you got next then you got uh, another foam layer high resilience foam layer um, and then uh, the bottom is an anti-skid base to stop it from sli uh, sli uh, you know sliding around when it's actually on the frame so that's all your layers in there um, and it comes really nicely wrapped in the in the bag now i'm a bit worried about this next test guy so what i've got here is an egg okay obviously it's not boiled it's just a raw egg and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop it into these uh, this bag here and i'm going to double bag it just in case it, it does crack but basically uh high grid are so confident that this top layer is soft and form fitting that if so if you've got an egg on there and then you lie on it or step on it it shouldn't crack is what they're saying so here it goes okay so i'm nervous about this one but i'll try belly down first so here's my egg wow completely smashed it let's see egg is still intact with belly now full disclosure i probably weigh right now about 68 70 kilograms so i don't know if that makes a difference but that was my belly and it's still intact let's try it on my back um let's have a look hey it's still it's still all right now this is the one i'm worried about i'm gonna try it and stand on it so let's see uh, whoa you know what it's still there no way that is quite impressive let's have a look at the egg egg is still in one piece 
Okay guys, so I'm just going to make the bed now and finally get some sleep on this thing and I'm going to have a couple of weeks on it, give, get an idea of how it kind of feels and I'll give you an update. Alright guys, so I've been using the high grid mattress for about two weeks now, so I've got a bit of experience of how it is. So here are my initial thoughts is, uh, one of the things is the chemical smell that you get from unwrapping the brand new mattress. It is still there, but it is, it is definitely fading, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's more noticeable when you're actually lying on the bed and your head's right next to it, but it is definitely going away. So I'll, if you are having that, uh, don't worry about it, it will go go away over time. Um, second thing is, I think the uh, the actual cover for the uh, mattress is one of the best things I've ever felt, to be honest, on a mattress. It's really, really soft, and I like how it's quilted, and it feels really, really nice when you're laying on it. Um, the mattress is, itself is definitely on the firmer side, so if you do like a, quite a firm mattress that you don't sink massively into, then I think you're going to really enjoy the high grid mattress. So what I found is when I'm sleeping on here with my wife is whenever she's moving, I can't really feel her move, which is really great because it doesn't really wake me up when I'm uh, you know, trying to sleep and she's there next to me. So in terms of like motion in the mattress, you don't really feel that um, if you are sleeping with a partner, so that's good to see. Um, another thing is it's not a very hot mattress as well. I think the heat dissipating technology or whatever they've done to uh, you know get that heat away really works really well. I'm not using a mattress cover uh, protector on it, but when I'm actually on it, I didn't really feel hot uh, and bothered when I woke up in the morning. It is quite cool, so that worked really well for me as well. Um, and the top like layer um, is really, really soft as well. So when you're actually sleeping on it, you kind of sink probably only about maybe between one and three inches, obviously depending on your weight, but then you just stop and then you don't sink any further, which is quite nice because it does feel quite firm and solid when you're actually on it. You're not sinking too much and you know rolling around and it, it does feel very nice when you're on it because you only sink a little bit, enough to get you comfortable, get you into position, and then you know um, you can sleep quite comfortably. I tend to sleep quite a lot on my front, um, so, you know, if you've got the belly there, it's good, good to have that buffer zone to kind of, you know, so it doesn't pr to put in too much pressure on your belly. So that worked really well for me. But also on my back and the sides, it's been absolutely brilliant. So I wouldn't hesitate recommending the hybrid mattress. And even if you are in two minds, you have got that trial period where you can try it out as well. Hope you liked my uh, unboxing and review of the hybrid mattress. Please drop us a like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, let them know in the description and I'll be happy to answer them. Catch you on the next one.